Stop! 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 <laughs> you look dirty before he does. I am. Uh, oops. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today is the day of of what test? What test? The actual driving test day, yeah. So your test is in one hour, yeah. Uh, it's at 12.37 mm -hmm. and it is 11.38 now. So we've got exactly an hour, yeah. So we're going to obviously go through whatever you want to go through, yeah. Normally tend to go through manoeuvres. And guys, for you, uh, any of you watching, yeah, I do normally advise not to do any longer than an hour before you test because it can get uh, quite tiring. So, uh, how are you feeling, Taz? Um, really nervous. That's, that's normal, that's usual. Yeah. Okay. That is usual. We normally find that, you know, when you get in the car with the examiner, yeah? Because uh, most of the examiners, yeah, they're, they're like nice and friendly. Yeah, remember, they're not out there looking to fail you. Yeah, you just drive. They do let you off with a lot of stuff. Yeah, obviously with me, like, um, for th those of you who've been watching my mock test, I'll be extra strict with everything. Yeah, just so you know that th these kind of faults can be marked down, yeah. yeah. But the examiners, all they want to see is, is that you can handle the car, yeah. You know the rules of the road and your judgment's good, like when changing lanes, yeah, turning right in front of oncoming traffic, okay. And we've seen your driving, you're more than good enough to pass the driving test, yeah. Okay, right then, so um, first thing, you've got to check that you've bought your license. We have already checked it though, yeah, you know, you're going to pick you up, yeah. So guys, always make sure you've got your license, because if you haven't got your provisional license, um, you won't be able to go for your test, yeah. And the theory certificate, um, we advise to bring that along, but normally find the examiners don't normally look at that, but do take it along, yeah, just in case there's any problem with your booking, so they've got the details on that. Mm -hmm. Right then, put that away. So when you got in the car, you did set everything, yeah? yeah? Just mainly check that mirror is also set like mm -hmm. correctly because we use that for the parallel parking, yeah, which we're going to start off with, yeah? yeah. So you want to go through all your manoeuvres yeah. because obviously um, we did, uh, well, we haven't been through the parallel parking and the parking on the right. We did the Bay Park yeah. last lesson, didn't we? Yeah, we'll, we'll go through that again as well um, just to make sure everything's set. And um, yeah, guys, uh, we were supposed to do a lesson yesterday on the Sunday. Yeah, it's Monday today, yeah. But something came up and I couldn't do the lesson. We were thinking about going on the motorway. Yeah. yeah but I just, I, sorry, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, so, um, yeah. But anyway, like I said, we're going to, we got this hour. Yeah, okay. And we're going to go through your manoeuvres and anything else that you think you need to go through? Um, I don't know. Maybe just a general driving, just... Yeah, but yeah. obviously we'll 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 uh, roundabouts. Yeah, let's see how yeah we'll do some roundabouts as well. Yeah, so let's see how quickly we can get through the manoeuvres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, there's no issues with those and you feel comfortable with those, um, so we're gonna go through the show me tell me questions. Yeah, yeah we can do that at the test centre, and uh, yeah we'll do a bit of general driving. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So uh, yeah, ready when you are, Taz. Obviously you're not gonna need my help on anything. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> okay then. So um. Let's go. So we'll use this um, white car in front of us, yeah, to okay. uh, carry out the parallel parking maneuver, yeah. Mm So what's that car doing there? Parking up. Yeah, just make sure we've got enough space. Mm. Yeah, you think you can park there? Yeah. What's that car doing there? The what's he doing? Back. Yeah, they're racing back. So just wait for them to... Yeah, we've got to, yeah. So you know when you're starting any manoeuvre, yeah, when you're planning on doing, especially this one, because you've got to get a position where you could be blocking the road, yeah, okay? So once you're there, it's fine. Even if you are blocking the road, the road's not wide enough. Nothing too much you can do about it, yeah. But I just, I you start to get your position, just be careful of people like that. See what they're doing, you gotta assess what they're doing, yeah.
So did you go through the videos and watch the show me tell me yeah, questions? I watched them and then I watched mock test videos okay. to see how other people did. But yeah. Stop there, Taz. Stop there. Stop, 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 stop. So you just about to say I'm just going to what? I was just going to go to, you know, where the curb lifts so I don't block this driveway. Okay. Um, so, I'm not sure if you remember, you know when we do this manoeuvre, yeah? Okay, the examiner will make it clear at the start as well that, you know, when you finish up, yeah? Yeah. Do not worry about blocking the driveway. Okay. Okay. So, that was, that was fine. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's a minimum distance you got to do it within. Yeah. Okay. Don't so, go too far. Uh, that's it. Even even that will do, yeah. Okay. What do you think about your distance from the curb? Could be a bit closer. Yes, we could be a bit closer, but that is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you did it like that, yeah, and you had stopped earlier, that was perfect. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes people think, oh, well, no, I need to be closer. They start readjusting and trying to sort it out. This is fine. Okay. It's it's a drain's width. Yeah. But see, ideally, when you're in a park, you can be a bit closer. But even that is okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Observations were brilliant. Yeah. Uh, speed was really good, control was good, and you remembered your reference point, yeah? yeah. Okay. Um, should we try it again, just to check that, that you, did, you didn't fluke it on, or anything like that, yeah? yeah. Okay. That's well. Yeah. They're waiting. I think they're waiting to see what you they're still moving though, yeah. So just so. wait for them to completely stop if they're Yeah. So if they're still moving towards you, yeah, they haven't really stopped. Yeah. They haven't really stopped and given you away.
Okay. Mm-hmm. Again. Still a bit far out. Yeah, still the same as before, yeah. Okay. But like I said, this would be okay. If you want to get your tiny bit closer, what, what could you do? Steer a bit more when coming in. Oh, uh, After I've uh, found my reference point. Okay, after you've... Uh, so which reference point are you, are you um, on the... Not the first spin, the second spin. You know my triangle point? Yeah. That one. And when so I steer a bit more. Steer a bit more which way? So you know when you get to that, that second reference point, which is the most important one, yeah? Okay, which way do you steer at that point? I steer that way. Do you? No, two spins this way, yeah. Yeah, you do two, you do two turns. With the technique we use is one, two, one, yeah. yeah? So you do two turns to the right at that point, yeah? Okay. So if you add more turn, yeah, is the car going to get closer or further away? Further away. Yeah. So you don't add any more turn on, yeah? Okay. So what are, I wouldn't I really change that, yeah, okay? What you could do is, you know that point, yeah. Get closer to it. Yeah, just let it go a tiny bit closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you you could be in risk of touching the curb. Yeah, and if you think you're you're touching the curb, or if you do even touch it a little bit, yeah. Okay, what are you gonna do? Just readjust. Yeah, just readjust. Okay, so but before you readjust in any maneuver, what's the most important thing to do before? Observations. Make That's sure it. it's safe. To Make do sure it. it's safe. Okay, so but personally, just stick to what you're doing there. Yeah, that reference point. Uh, what is your reference point? The second it's one? It's just before the triangle disappears. Okay. Yeah. You can just stick to it or you can let it just go a bit Slightly. closer, yeah, if you want to. Okay? But if you do like that, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Yeah, but with any of the manoeuvres, don't be afraid to readjust. It's absolutely fine. But observation. So when you're looking around, what are we looking for? Pedestrians, cyclists, oncoming traffic. Good. Obviously, we've uh, noticed the cars today, yeah. Obviously, we haven't had any pedestrians or cyclists about, yeah. But make sure when you're looking around, the effective observations. A lot of people just look around, just but only yeah, but don't really taking what's around. Okay, think about is anyone coming out of those houses or what? Okay, right then, you okay with this, yeah? Mm-hmm. Good. Move off when you're ready. of the road turn right So I want your observations at every single junction, yeah? Okay? Make sure you can see it's clear before you decide to go, yeah? So what should you do then, Taz? That's it. Good. See, they had this signal on, yeah? Yeah. Because of the sunlight, it's a bit harder to see, yeah? Okay. Mm-hmm. But then once you notice the signal, you said they're turning, yeah? Why did you not go straight away? Because... 
good. Yeah, you shouldn't just rush out when you see a signal, yeah. The dog on really slow. That's it. That's what I was going to ask you next, yeah. But they had a massive clue to, yes, they are definitely turning. Yeah. yeah. It was another lane in the car, but not just that, they were really slow, yeah. At a good speed for their turn, weren't they? But that was, again, good observation. You didn't just rush out, yeah. You just um, used the creep and peep technique where you just check before entering the road because the view is quite obstructed there. Yeah. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. And if you could move off, please. Okay, that was good, Taz, yeah? So you made sure there was no vehicle coming from behind. You know that blind spot check? Yeah, you did do it, your right blind spot kit. Blind spot, yeah. Should have done it just before I moved on. Yeah, okay. Even if you do it again just before you release the handbrake. And at the traffic lights, if you could turn left, please. Why is it important to just like do it just before you move? Say if like anything changes or if the cyclist comes or That's anything it. like that. Good, just like you said, situation could change, yeah. I'm sure anybody watching will be, will be whoever's been for the test and if they're watching they'll, they'll tell you they felt exactly the same. Well then, good mirror check again. Have you seen any new speed limit signs? No. That's it. Only just now. Yeah. I see big clue they scribbled out. Why didn't they scribble out like you said? Because they're not right. Yeah. Just follow the road to the left now, please. The speed limit it used to be 40, but it's been changed to 30, yeah. We're going to just continue straight on, yeah. So another tip, like obviously here's the signs for you now, yeah? yeah. Okay. But if you're not too sure, yeah, so say if it was a 40, yeah, it's best to like stick to 30 on a 40 rather than doing 40 on a 30. Yeah. Yeah. Always keep looking out for the signs, yeah, and they will be there sooner or later.
And as we discussed last lesson, what's the main thing you got to keep doing? Observing, reading signs. Good. Re yeah, looking out for signs because last lesson you were like, oh, I didn't see the sign, I missed it. Yeah. And the other thing? Um, make sure I'm not too slow, not too fast. Yeah, you build up of speed. And but the key thing is always looking out for hazards ahead. Okay. I look, look ahead now. There's a Park few hazards there. Bikes. That's it. So you said park car, so what are you going to do? I'm going to this lane. Yeah, so tell everyone what you're trying to do. That's it. That's it. Good. So if you'd put the signal on a bit sooner, yeah, more likely. Like, you know, as soon as, well, even when we're waiting at the lights there, yeah, we were talking about it, you could have started planning that now. Yeah. So as soon as you move off, you're going to apply the signal because you can see the parked vehicles ahead. Ahead. Um, the cars stopping. Yeah, so Our can you get through that gap? Yeah. Well, it's turned now, yeah. Okay. Always keep, just keep looking out for any hazards ahead. Yeah, and what are you going to do? What action are you going to take, if any, if you need to take any? So, you know, when you're approaching those lights, yeah, what were you thinking? These yeah. they could turn red. That's it, good, yeah. So, yeah, so which mirror should you have checked? Centre, yeah. okay, centre stop. That's it. Okay, if you notice any hazards, just check your mirror, just know what's happening behind you, yeah? Okay, if someone's following you really close, would it be safe to stop suddenly? No. If no one's close behind, then you can, like, even if your brake is a bit harsh, we haven't caused anyone danger, have we? No. left for me please just before these lights turning left again all done This is the first one where that person's walking. The second one is just here now. Well done, Taz. Really good turn. But when it's safe to do so, could you park up on the right hand side of the road, please? Well then, good. So you know how you position there, yeah, mm -hmm. really good. So say if you've like, so you, you you chose a safe place to pull up, yeah. So say you did your um, mirrors and signal, yeah. Okay, you're about to position. You're still on the left hand side of the road, and a few vehicles turn up. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Um, position like next to the right line. Yeah. So like, say if I'm turning right, just so I can let them still get past, and I've still got my space. Okay, so would you continue driving or would you stop to get into this place? There's oncoming cars. Normally, I would have continued, but now I know that you can stop if you found a safe place. That's it. Yeah. Okay, just like you would for a right turn. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Before this, all, I remember when we did this, you just like, you if there were oncoming cars, you just keep driving. Yeah. Okay, so just pick your spot. If it's a, Make sure it's a safe spot. Mm -hmm. And then mirror signal. And if it's not safe, just wait. Just wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, if you could uh, reverse back two car lanes for me now. What could go wrong as you're reversing? Cars could pull out. 
could yeah. go to away from the curb. That's it. Or too close to it as well, yeah. So as well as observing for other road users, just make sure you keep an eye on your position from the curb as well. It's okay. Yep, that's fine. Move off when you're ready. Hold on. Okay, so uh, remember how we did the immediate stop? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to give that a go as well, yeah. It's been a while since we've done that, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Remember, it's my responsibility and when the examiner, if the examiner should do it, their responsibility to make sure it's safe, yeah. Otherwise, the one should to do it, okay? When you're ready. So check out position in the road now, Taz. Yeah, on that side of the road. Yeah. But do you know why you were slightly positioned to that side? Turn left at the end of the road. Um, no. You don't? I, do. I was trying to overtake them, that van over there. No, you're after no you overtook overtake. that. Yeah, after you overtook, you were slightly to the right. But this car was parked up first. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And and that's why. Yeah, and then it moved off, so. Yeah. So that was okay. I just wanted to check, do you know where we ended up there? Yeah. <laughs> You're braking? That's okay, yeah. Um, do you remember when we did it last time? Was the braking like that? No, I feel like I'm too um, soft on it. Yeah, it was slightly, slightly too soft, yeah. It needs to be a bit more firmer. But you did the correct thing by keeping both hands on the steering wheel. And then securing the car and then doing your checks, yeah. Mm -hmm. We did all that correctly. Is he extra busy today? Oh no. <laughs> but remember, look, if, even if it is busy, sometimes you could be like at a junction and think, oh, I've been here ages. Yeah? Yeah. But if there's been no gap, it's, n it's not your fault, is it? No. You've got to make sure you choose a safe gap. What's that car doing, Taz? Give it away. Yeah. So that's the first opportunity we, we, we miss here. That's it. Good. Obviously, you know when somebody does give you away, you don't want to rush it, you want to make sure that's for you. Yeah. Yeah. See, this guy here now, he waved his hand to them, then he waved it to us as well, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So even when there's traffic here, yeah, just keep observing and somebody may give you away. But like, like I said, if somebody does, just don't rush out, make sure that it's for you, yeah. And also make sure there's no one coming from the other side. Like, we were okay because we were turning left, yeah. yeah. But if you're going to turn right, that person gave us away, but there could be some, somebody coming from the other side, yeah. Let's see what that guy tried to do. Come on. Yeah. See, drivers are that scary, man. See, there was like, th that, that person in front had to swerve a little bit, yeah. But that's where the, all this, you know, we, we were, when I keep saying, just keep planning, what could happen, like, what could that little, what, what could that boy going do with this, road. yeah. He could still go into the road, yeah. Yeah. It's not, you're not going to start braking for him now, but he's going to have it in mind, so you're ready to react, nice. yeah. Continue straight ahead, please. So, parallel parking, that was okay, yeah. Parking on the right, you okay with that? And we'll do the front and rear bay parks now, yeah. If you have uh, somewhere safe to do the emergency stop again, yeah. we, um, we'll we do that, yeah, okay. You know, if like, say if my manoeuvres, say like, you know how sometimes I'm a bit far out? Yeah. Obviously, like, they wouldn't fail you on that, would they? It would just be like a minor or something. Far out where? 
What do you mean do you when you do the parallel pull? Parallel. So if, obviously, if I was too far, I'd yeah, understand. So, so, so you know when I, uh, like, when we did it earlier, that was fine. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Okay. If you're any further out than that, then readjust it. Okay. Okay. How many maneuvers are you going to get? One. Yeah, you're going to take, uh, you're just going to get one maneuver, yeah. You know the emergency stop here, yeah, that's not counted as a, as a maneuver. It's just in case yeah. they want to do it. And, and they don't ask everyone to do it, yeah. So if you get it, yeah, you still get one of the other maneuvers as well, okay? okay? It's easy for us to say, oh, just relax or yeah. whatnot. I know exactly how you feel. I remember when I uh, became an instructor, what, 10, 11 years ago, and our tests aren't, aren't easy. Yeah. And I remember feeling exactly the same. But trust me, once you get once you get in the car with the examiner, after the first couple of minutes, I'll you'll be fine. Well. The examiners are like, you know what? They're all like, uh, here, I've, in my experience, Wolverhampton, they're really fair yeah. with their marking, yeah? They will only fail your driving test if you actually make a serious fault here and do something serious. So it's, at the end, it's, it's, it's you, it's not the examiners, yeah? But if you keep planning, looking out for hazards, looking out for signs, thinking about what could happen, yeah? It has, you'll, you'll, you'll fly through it. So from here now, I want you, I want you to go towards Dudley. Okay. After this roundabout, there's another roundabout, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and Dudley is right again, third exit. So it's right here. Then right again, the third exit. Well then. Could have stayed in that line, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, you could have, but this is it's not a driving fault, is it? Well then. See there's enough space to move over. Yeah, if you had stayed in the right, then you wouldn't have had two, yeah. But well, this is okay as well. Well done. Good. So yeah, if you know you turn right again, you can stay in the right. It'll just all it is will save you the hassle of changing lanes, but that's absolutely fine the way you did it as well. Okay, turn right, second exit. Once we're into the car park, yeah, there, there are some bays on your right hand side. Could you park in a bay on the right, please? Oh, yes. Yeah. Does which mirrors? Which signal?
Are we inside the bay? Yeah. Good, perfectly, yeah. Right, Smart guys. Versions. Yeah. You know if um, somebody was behind you there, when you stopped, yeah? D did you know if somebody was behind you? Yeah? What if somebody was behind you, would they be expecting you to just stop like that? No. Yeah. Especially if it was signal and everything. Yeah, look, rather, than you're, rather than just whacking on the signal, yeah, I want you to observe first. Yeah? I know you're thinking, oh, my, I've got to do my manoeuvre, yeah, getting to my bay or my points or, or whatever, yeah. But the first thing with anything, observe what's happening around me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You should have, if there was a vehicle behind you, do you understand that would have been a serious driving fault? Yeah, because they wouldn't expect me to stop. Exactly, and they, they, just, they, they, just had to, they would have had to break uh, quite harsh if it was quite close behind you, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay? So remember, What's the routine that we use? Mirror, signal and then manoeuvre. That's it. Okay. Getting into the bay, brilliant. But please remember that, yeah. Okay. Okay. Especially like if the car parks like this. Busy. Yeah, it's, it, it's quite busy anyway, yeah. But still, even if it wasn't busy, if there's a vehicle behind you, you wouldn't know without checking your mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. If you could reverse out of here, please. And we're going to drive out that way, yeah. Okay. That was good observations. So yeah, there was a car there this time, yeah? Okay. Uh, follow the road to the right, yeah, to the right, please. Even when we entered the car park here yeah, with that lorry, that was yeah. good judgment there, yeah, by overtaking it. You could see he had his left signal on and he's, he was there for a while, yeah? yeah, okay. If the lorries are moving, then just be careful. Sometimes lorry drivers just, uh, they'd be looking for a um, same place, yeah, and then they might just be edging forward. I want you to drive down to the bottom there, yeah. Keep going. Right to the end, and then we're going to do a reverse bay park. Yeah, try and keep in the centre. That's it. Anybody behind you, Taz? They've just gone. That's it. Stop here for me. Good. Charge it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything that went? I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you think you went? Good. <laughs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. But does say anything if I use that just for like a little bit of help? No, it's it's fine. Obviously, you know at the end. Just yeah. not too much. Yeah, don't keep staring in it. That's all. Yeah, you, you, you can use it, it's there it's there for you, yeah. Okay. But what's the other reference point we've got for this? Um the curb coming in at the bottom of this window. Yeah. Okay, so try and use both. Okay. Okay, but obviously the main thing is you don't touch the cable at the back. Yeah. Okay, even if you want to stop a little bit further forward, that, that's absolutely fine. But use that, you know, when the red line comes there, you uh, you can use that. But the thing is, you know, when uh, you do pass and you get your own car. And if it doesn't have that. Yeah. Then you've got, you uh, obviously the point in your car is not going to be exactly the same yeah. as that one over there, unless you buy the same, exactly the same <laughs> car, yeah. yeah. Okay, but... Um, yeah, those pointers will be over the right somewhere down there, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Right then, you want to try this again or are you okay with it? Um, I don't mind. Because uh, it's 12.20 now, what, 12.19? I think we better head to the test centre now. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. if you have, if there's uh, enough space there, yeah, we might do the immediate stop once more. Yeah. Any questions? 
<laughs> he looked terrified. He touched. I am. Okay, let's go. Let's go before that car races out now. Yeah, drive down to the left. That's it. And what could you have done here to warn that car signal. that you're moving off here? Which signal you want? Um, left. Yeah, to move out the bay, yeah. At the end of the road, if you could turn right, please, Taz. And they made to stop again soon, yeah? yeah. Stop! Uh, move off when you're ready, please. No, just did like a left signal, just yeah. Which observation does? That's it. Yeah. You mean the right signal, yeah? Right signal. Okay. Continue straight ahead, please, at this roundabout. So, the braking there was slightly firmer than last time, yeah? You can even go a bit more firmer. Yeah, the track at the roundabout turn right, please. Second exit. But when you moved off, yeah? Okay, focus on this actually. Which one? Back was there. Uh, back mirror. You blind did your right. Spot. Yeah, you did your right blind spot, but the left blind spot over your left shoulder. Remember, we're not parked up. We're in the middle of the road, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've got about a meter gap. That's it. Good. Even when you're entering roundabouts, yeah, just go when you think it's safe, yeah. Okay, don't take any risks. Yeah, so after the main stop, moving off, yeah. yeah. Remember that meter gap, yeah. What could come through that meter gap? Cyclists. Yeah. That's it. So to make sure you do check that blind spot as well, yeah. How can we use this lane? Um, so I can come off in the left side. Good. How do you know we can use this lane for right as well? Because the arrows. Where's the arrows? There. Don't like because you've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, obviously we've done this before. Yeah. It's fine to say that you say I know this. You know this kind. Of, well, you remember this road. Normally you don't remember most of the roads we've been on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But this is fine. Yeah. But even if you did use that lane, yeah, would that be a fault? Over when it's like yeah, after the ten, yeah, good. But like you said, later. Right, we're waiting on the light. Should we go through a few of the questions? Yeah. Where's my book gone? So, I'm gonna use the book test so I don't miss out any. So, tell me how you check the brakes or waking before starting a journey. So you just move off a little bit. And then obviously press the brakes and you'd make sure they're not spongy or slack and that the car doesn't pull to one side when you do it. Perfect. Tell me where you find the information for the recommended tyre pressure for this car and how tyre pressure should be checked. Um, vehicle 
handbook and then you use a pressure gauge, whatever it's called. Yeah. Good. Pressure gauge. See? And tell me how you would make sure your head strain is uh, adjusted correctly. You make sure that the that the ridge in it is the same level as the top of your eyes. No, your eyes and the top of yours. Yeah, that'll do. Tell me how you check the tyres to ensure they have sufficient tread depth and the general collision is safe to use on the road. Um, you'd make sure that there's no cuts and bulges in there. Yeah. And that the tread depth should be 1.6. Good. 1.6 what? Millimetres. Yep. Another DGN car in front of us. And they've kept a really good position. If the vehicle in front of you move yourself, don't get too close, yeah. yeah. Traffic lights will be turning right. you stopped early on because there, were, there was enough space in the middle. All done? Good. So you know that white card in front, yeah? Yeah. He had his right signal, didn't he? Yeah. But as he was approaching first, was he in the correct lane to turn right? No, so he, he, yeah, he could be going straight ahead. Yeah. Just make sure they are positioned yeah. at your way. That's it, crossroads, turning right, so make sure there's enough space for you in the middle. If there isn't, hold back. And once you're in the middle, then if the lights turn red, what are you going to do? Go. There, you have to go, good. Again, it does steer slightly to the left. That's it, there. This much space is okay, yeah. Okay. So I know there's no oncoming cars, yeah. Okay, but we only need to keep how much distance from the park vehicles? A metre. Yeah, a metre. So we didn't have to go fully into that lane over there, yeah. yeah. Say if somebody, say if you were driving fully, fully on that yeah, side of the road and somebody wanted to pull out of the side road, the could that be a risk? That, yeah. So, if you could turn at left, please. Gonna go home. <laughs> Taz, how's your, how's your driving been today so far? Okay. Yeah, it's been it's been really good. Yeah. I don't think you realise that your driving stand is is good. Otherwise, I wouldn't I wouldn't bring you for the test. All well done. Park up on the left for me, please. Okay. Right. So, if you could actually leave the engine engine running, because the AC is on, it'll stay cool in here. Right. Let's um, finish off these questions. We've got what? Ten exactly minutes. ten minutes before your test starts. Do you need the loo or anything? No. That's fine, because at the moment the test centres are closed, only candidates can go in if they will need the tool to anything. Those you've got to wait outside in the car park, yeah. Okay. Right, so um, tell me how you check the headlights and taillights are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. So I'd obviously just put them on and then walk around the vehicle and make sure that they're on. That's good. Tell you, tell me how you know if there's a problem with your anti-lock braking system. It will have the symbol on the dashboard. Good. And... Um, Tell me how you check the direction indicators are working, you don't need to exit the vehicle. Obviously put them on and then walk around the vehicle, see if they're on. Good. How, how could you put them on all in one go, do you know? Hazard. That's thing. it. Tell me how you check the brake lights are working on this car. So I would obviously put my brakes on and they said you could either have looking at reflections 
or get someone to have a look for you. That's it. Before you press the brake pedal, what should you do? Make sure your handbrake's up. Oh. Um, so if the car's off... No, so if the car's off... Put it on. Yeah, uh, well, just put the ignition on. Okay. Okay, otherwise the, light, the brake lights won't work. Um, tell me how you check the power assist is Dean's working before starting a journey. Um, so you want to make sure, like, if you just move it a bit, it's not too heavy. Like, it should just feel normal. Yeah, the examiner would be okay with that, yeah, okay. But a bit more detail, so obviously when the car's off, how does the steering feel? Um, normal. When the car's off? Oh, like you can't really move it. So actually, switch the engine off for me. Feel the steering there. How does that feel? Heavy. Start the car. And try it now. How does that feel? Feels better. That's so it. it Just heavy. explain that. Okay. Okay, so, so when I start it, I'd apply a bit of pressure. Yeah, and you should feel like that, yeah. Right, what a time, I keep getting cold. And... <laughs> right, actually I can uh, disconnect my phone. Okay, so that's done. Right, um, tell me how you switch on the rear fog light and explain when you use them. So you obviously operate the switch. You know which switch it is? This one. Yeah, what would you do that? I'd just push it forward twice. Yeah, all the way to the top. All the way? Yeah, and then how would you put on the rear fog light, do you know? That's the front one. Pull it back. That's it, that's okay. the back one. Yeah. Good. And when would you use it? Um, foggy conditions, if like, to help, not to help you see, but like, to kind of clear your view a bit. Yeah, it is so, obviously your car can be noticed. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, um, when the visibility is less than 100 metres. Okay. Okay. Um, tell me how you switch your headlight from dip to main beam. You just put it, use the switch. So like that would be dipped. Yeah. That would be main beam. No. So put the dip tones on again. Yeah. For the main beam, push the whole lever away from you. Okay. That's like that. it. Yeah. And the blue light will uh, come on. Obviously the engine's off at the moment. Yeah. So it's not coming on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Open the bonnet ones now, yeah, so we'll 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 do those, yeah, okay. Um but before that, show me so when it's safe to do so, could you show me how you wash and clean the rear windscreen? So what would you do for the back windscreen? Good, push it away from you. And for the front front windscreen? Pull it towards you. That's it, good. When it's safe to do so, can you show me to switch on your dipped headlights? How you switch on your dipped headlights? That's it, good. And remember, when the examiner says, look, the key is when it's safe to do so. If there's a risk ahead, don't do it. Yeah? Okay. Um, when it's safe to do so, can you show me how you set the rear demister? Good. And how do you operate the horn? That's Push it. This. Good. And how you demister the front windscreen? That one. Perfect. When it's safe to do so, show me how you'd open and close your side window. But I'd yeah. just do mine. Yeah, just yours. That one then. That's it. Yeah. Main thing is, make sure it's safe and clear and you've got good control of the car when you're answering these, yeah? Okay. Right then. Um, opening the bonnet. Do me a favour, pass me that, uh, the uh, camera. Thank you. And as if you could... Leave your, uh, leave your seat in the position it is now, yeah? Don't leave your seat. If you could open the front bonnet. Hold it. Okay, so it has which one's the brake fluid. Good, how do you check it? Um, there's a minimum maximum thing. Just make sure it's in between there. Good. Engine coolant. This one. How do you check that? Same minimum maximum. Good. Windscreen washer. This one. How do you check that? You just open it and see if there's enough in there. Good. And the engine oil. How do you check the engine oil? Um, it's this. Yeah. So you take it out. Yeah. Clean it. Yeah. And then put it all the way back in. Yeah. And then when you put it back out, there's two little markers, and it should be in between them. That'll do, Tess. So if you close the bonnet for me. Oops. So, <laughs> you okay, yeah? <laughs> okay. Right. 
I'm gonna switch off this camera now. Right then, Taj, let's go inside. Because I think the, some of the examiners are out now as well. Uh, yeah. It's 12.35. Okay, go and move off for me, please. Whenever it's safe to do so. Take them for me, Tess. I don't know what, I'm not too sure what they're doing. That's it. Always keep to the left, yeah, and drive round to the right for me, please. They say you're going to come back, yeah. Always check this side, make sure there's no motorbikes. And if you drive round to the end there, the examiner is going to make you read one of the number plates here, check your eyesight. Mm -hmm. Okay? A bit more forward, Taz. And uh, just stop here. And if you could do the reverse bay park for me, please. Stop there for me, Taz. So look, okay, yeah. we've gone a bit too far back here and you're over that line a little bit, yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'm rushing you now because the examiners are out there now and we're, it, it's time. So just go forward for me and sort this out, please. But remember how you did it earlier? You don't be afraid to stop a few times, yeah, okay? That's it, good. I remember it's fine to stop a bit sooner. Yeah, like here, look. Don't let that red line go over the pavement, yeah. Okay, right. Taz, last bit of advice. Just don't be afraid, yeah? Your driving's at a very good standard. Don't be afraid to ask the examiner stuff. You know, if you're not sure of anything, stay in your lane. If you're in the wrong lane, what are you gonna do? What do I always say? Just carry on. Yeah, carry on, even if you have to go the wrong way. No last minute decisions, yeah? You got this, yeah? Yeah. Guys, so I'm going to switch the cameras off here. And um, yeah, in the next video, you'll find out if Taz passes or fails. Yeah, Taz, pass or fail, your driving's at a good standard. Mm -hmm. Okay, the examiner's here now, so I'm going to switch this off.